I will now be taking orders for the mascot glitch again. If you want me to do this glitch for you, hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. Both of those links will be in the description down below. Do not get scammed. Make sure you go to the right social media account. This glitch only works on current gen PlayStation. If you want me to do this glitch for you, hit me up. Make sure you are Cash App or PayPal ready. In this video, I will be showing you guys a VC glitch for current and next gen. The next gen VC glitch will be in the second part of this video. You guys can rack up your VC with both of these VC glitches. Drop a like, man. Drop a sub. Turn on notifications. And with that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video. This VC glitch is going to be working both on current and next gen the same exact way. This is probably going to be one of the best working NBA 2K23 VC glitches that you can use to run up your VC extremely fast. And I'm going to show y'all boys exactly how to do it. You can get like 1200 VC in like one minute. So what you guys want to do is you want to go to the My NBA screen and then you want to select on the My NBA tab and then you want to go ahead and start up a new My NBA file. From here you can choose any era that you would like but I generally choose the modern era. You then want to hit advance through this right here and this part is very important You just want to make sure that you guys remember which team that you pick so I'm gonna go ahead and choose the Milwaukee Bucks Once you guys get here you can go ahead and hit auto generate rookies now before we do this glitch There's a few different settings that we want to change to ensure that we get the most VC possible so what you want to do is first thing is you want to go down to your options, go to your settings, go to general, make sure you put the quarter length on 12 minutes. This part is also very important. You cannot spam each quarter length and you have to set a timer for 15 minutes, meaning once you guys do 12 minutes, you then want to go down to 11 minutes, 10 minutes, 9 minutes, etc. Once your 15 minute timer goes off, you are then able to re repeat the same quarter length. For 12 minutes, if you win the game, you're gonna get 1200 VC, and you get, I believe, 1100 VC for 11 minutes, and so on. So yeah, man, you're gonna set your quarter length for 12 minutes, and then you also want to go to your coaching, um, front office. Go to your front office, office. Go to roster, and from here, you want to go ahead and hit quick edit, and then you can hit OK. Now, once you guys are in quick edit, you then want to scroll all the way over until you see all players and from here all you want to do is edit these player stats so you want to select on the height you can double tap a or x to highlight the whole entire role and you can make every single player in the nba as short as possible you can also put the weight all the way down as well and if you really want to take this to the next level you can go over to layup standing dunk normal dunk, close shot, etc. And you can make every single player in the NBA have zero stats and be a 60 overall. So yeah, man, once you guys have done this for every single player in the NBA, you then wanna go ahead and go over to the team that you chose. That's why I said it's important you guys remember which team that you picked. For me, I did the Milwaukee Bucks. This time, we're gonna go ahead and make every single player on our team a demigod. And then you can also max the weight all the way out as well. And if you also wanted to, you could give your whole team max stats, stats and badges. That part is completely up to you. So once you guys have done this step, you can go ahead and back out. And you can hit save and then you wanna hit confirm changes. And then you can go ahead and back out. Once you guys have adjusted all of your settings, you're now ready to do this VC glitch. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to your next game and then you want to start this game up by hitting simulate with simcast live and then you want to go ahead and hit play game. From here, this part is very important. You want to put the simulation speed all the way up and then you want to hit continue simulation. You want to make sure that you're paying attention right here. You want to get to the fourth quarter with under 20 seconds, so you do want to stop it. So what I do is once I get to like 
the three minute mark. I wanna put the simulation speed all the way down because it goes by so fast, sometimes you can't stop it in time. You wanna go ahead and then hit continue simulation. I put the simulation speed all the way to slowest. And then you wanna stop simulation once we get to the fourth quarter with under 20 seconds left because that is gonna allow us to save this game and allow us to get our DC. So like I said, make sure you are paying attention. You wanna make sure that you get under 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. You guys can see we're at the 14 second mark. So from here, you wanna hit play game, jump in. You then wanna press start, go over to SimCast. You then wanna hit SimCast log, press start. Then you wanna hit jump in once again, press start again, and then you wanna go ahead and save and quit. Now sometimes if they're shooting free, if you're shooting free those or whatever, you do have to shoot the those, but it will allow you to save and quit. So we get some both. So after the free throws, you can now save and quit my NBA. So you want to go ahead and do that. And then you'll be back at the NBA 2K23 main menu. Once you guys get back here, all you want to do is select on my NBA, select on the same my NBA file, and it will load you back into the same game. From here, all you simply want to do is you want to go ahead and let the game run completely out. So you'll be placed back at the same at that same save point. And then you want to go ahead and let the game run completely out. Once the game is over with, you want to go ahead and hit quit and you will get your VC. If you win, you get 1100 VC. If you lose, you get 1000. You're able to make that VC within one minute. So now to continue to spin this glitch, you want to make sure that you set a timer on your phone for 15 minutes. What you then want to do is go back into your options, go to your settings, go to general, and then you want to put the quarter length on 11 minutes and the simulated quarter length on 11 minutes. Remember, you can only do each time once every 15 minutes. If you try to spam the same time within 15 minutes, you won't get any VC. So make sure each time that you do this glitch, you're going down one minute until the 15 minute timer goes off. Hopefully I explained that well for you guys and hopefully that makes sense, but yeah, man. So now what you wanna do after you guys have adjusted your time, go ahead and go to your next game. And then you wanna hit simulate with SimCast. You then wanna go ahead and hit play game. As soon as somebody gets a tip off, you then want to go over to SimCast and then you want to hit normal SimCast, put the simulation speed on fastest and then you want to hit continue simulation. Make sure you are paying attention at this part right here. This does go by extremely fast. You want to get to the fourth quarter with under 20 seconds left so you're able to save and quit. So once I get like to the three minute marker, I'm going to go ahead and put the simulation speed on slowest. Then I want to hit continue simulation. You want to wait for this to get under the 20 seconds mark in the fourth quarter. So like I said, just make sure you're paying attention because this does go by fast and it is very easy for the game to run out and you don't want that to happen. So once you guys get to the fourth quarter with under 20 seconds, you wanna hit play game, jump in, press start, go over to SimCast. You then wanna hit SimCast log, press start, go over to jump in, press start once again, then you wanna go over to save and quit. So you wanna go ahead and do that. Once you guys load back to the NBA 2K23 main menu, you wanna go ahead and select on my NBA once again, load up the same exact file, and it will place you back at the same save point where we just saved and quit. So once you guys load back into the game, you wanna go ahead and let the game run completely out. Once the game is over with, you wanna go ahead and go over to quit. And if you look on the bottom left hand side, you'll get another thousand VC. Like I said, you get more VC for each win that you do. So to show you guys this one more time, after you guys play your second game, you then wanna go ahead and go back into your options, 
go to your settings, go to general. This time you're gonna put the quarter length on 10 minutes and also the simulated quarter length on 10 minutes as well. Make sure your 15 minute timer is started because once that 15 minute timer goes off, you're able to restart and go back to 12 minutes. So yeah, man, we're gonna put it on 10 minutes since this is our, since this is our third game in under 15 minutes. You then wanna go ahead, go to your next game and then you wanna hit simulate with SimCast. You want to go ahead and hit play game. Hey, yo, fuck you, Vakes. No. Once I make it to tip off, go ahead and press start. Go over to SimCast. You then want to hit normal SimCast. You want to put the simulation speed all the way up, and then you want to hit continue simulation. And from here, you just want to make sure that you get to the fourth quarter with under 20 seconds left. You guys can see how fast this goes by. You're able to make a lot of VC in a very short time. So once I get to the fourth quarter with under like three three minutes left or so, I'm then going to put the submission speed on slowest. I'm going to hit play game, or I'm going to go ahead and stay on Stemcast. I'm going to put the simulation speed all the way on the slowest and then you want to hit continue simulation so you want to get under 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter the reason why it has to be under 20 seconds is because this is going to allow us to save and quit in order to get our vc and like i said you get more vc for each win that you do so you guys can see we're under 20 seconds we're going to hit play game jump in press start go over to simcast hit normal simcast log press start jump in and then here press start go over to quit they can quit my nba and then once you guys get back to the 2k23 main menu you then want to reselect on my nba and then you want to hit my nba once again and then you want to go ahead and load this file up once you guys load back into the game you then want to go ahead and let the game run completely out Once the game is over with, you want to go ahead and hit quit, and this time you'll get 950 VC. So each time that you go down, you will lose a little bit of VC, but like I said, you have to adjust your settings after each game where you won't get any VC. But after 15 minutes is up, you're able to restart and do 12 minutes once again. So yeah, man, hopefully I explained that well for you guys. This works both on current and next gen. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Drop a like, man. Drop a sub. Turn on post notifications. We out. Peace.